Hey guys, today d and in the field. I wanted to give you a little more of a detailed description on the mineral bed, how we do it, and the benefits of. This is an established mineral bed. This has been here for about four years now. And as you can see, they've depthed this right out, digging in here, going through the dirt. As the mineral soaks into the soil, the deer have to work harder for it. But they'll work down into this dirt and right through the roots and everything to get to this mineral. This is a this is a little mineral rock that I've left here for them because I knew that the powder mineral would wear out sooner or later. It, they would eat it up one and two, the rain would wash it through the earth. Now the mineral itself, what it'll do for the deer, it'll help the does for lactation purposes. It'll help them to be able to digest their food directly after winter and it will also help the, the bucks with horn growth through their growing season. Now for me when I come into the field I bring just a small amount with me in a little bucket it's maybe maybe five pounds worth I I apply this directly to the ground the deer don't seem to mind now I've used stumps logs all that kind of stuff and that works as well but like I said, as you can see, it works. Um, basically, this is how we apply it. Now this formula is just a, a typical name brand and whatever you choose to use is definitely personal preference. I use a scented formula. It just helps to start the growth of your mineral site. Again guys, this is mineral site number two for us today. We will eventually hit all of our mineral sites today. Look at that, there's even porcupine needles in there. Huh, that's funny. Well, we wanted to show you this in the form of different sites and how other areas and different areas will create different forms of use. Check out this log. Now I've dumped this mineral directly on this log over the past and this was a pretty good sized log. This is about a three year old mineral bed also. The ground's a little softer so they're not digging in quite as hard. But you can see it's pretty much all gone. Even the discoloration has gone off the top. Also the rock is sitting there just for a backup to keep them coming to it. Now I'm just gonna lightly dust this again and this will be the last time. This is uh, July right now. They won't need mineral for much longer. They'll end up stopping use of it right in the uh, middle, middle of September. So this isn't really something you hunt over, but it is definitely something that the deer herd itself can benefit from. Hey guys, here we are in our last and final mineral bed of the day. We've done a full circle, full trek of the day. It's been hot, it's been humid, it's July, but it's been a blast. We've enjoyed our day. This is uh, one of my newest mineral beds. I hunted this area last year, had great success in here, saw a lot of bucks. So I wanted to give them a little bit more this year. Now there's been runways in here. When you choose your area to put a mineral bed in, you want to be somewhere where the deer are. You don't want to just go out and throw your mineral bed out in the middle of the woods. You want to give the deer that are in your area what they need. So that's what I did is I utilized an area where there was already a herd, there was already an amount of deer, I already had sightings and there was a great runway right through here. Now what's unique about this spot, and like I said this is only probably four months old and they have it tore up right down to the rooting. You can see the roots right through it, the leaves are everything around it, this whole area is tore up. But what I did on purpose here was I put this in an area with branches that were low enough that they could utilize as licking branches. I guarantee in some of the trail cam photos, the I'll, I'll put them on this video, you'll see them utilizing these leaves and these, these low hanging branches as, as licking branches. And that again, they use that as a calling card to know what other deer are in the area. So I hope these tips and uh, I hope these tips can be utilized in your hunts down the road in your future and you gain success by my knowledge.